and welcome to the Crunchy Catholics. My name is Lauren if you're brand new and today we're talking about five resources for Catholics for Bible study. Most of these are free actually so that is awesome and so I just wanted to share this with you because we never want to be that Catholic that doesn't know their Bible, right? That's what we're always accused of and um, it's just best that we just not be a stereotype. So. <laughs> This was a really fun chapter. This is part of our book club collaboration. And it was a really fun chapter for me because it is something that I wanted to look into anyway. I've been really wanting to look into like a good Bible study to go through. Number one, check out your parish. Now my parish does have a Bible study and our priest is really academic. And <laughs> so he offers his Bible study once a week. But guess what? Even if you're not where I am, he YouTubes it. He he took the video of it and he posts it on YouTube. So there you go. If you want to follow his Bible study, he's on the go going through the Gospels. So I think he's on Mark right now, but he did Luke. So all of Luke is done and on that playlist. So enjoy that. But check out your parish. Maybe they offer a Bible study too. And if they don't, that leads me to my next one. And this is seekingtruth.net. I've never actually gone through this, but my brother-in-law clued me into it. He said it's very good. It's Nebraska-based. And they are a Bible study that they really want to encourage parishes to get on board with Bible study. So you can take it to your parish free of charge. Free. Like, that's amazing. And the lectures are by Sharon Duran. She's a Bible teacher with a master's degree in theology with an emphasis on sacred scripture. And so that's Seeking Truth Catholic Bible Study. It is crazy at the house right now. Sorry. Okay, number three and number four are similar. Number three is the Ignatius Study Bible. So that is a Bible basically that has footnotes and commentary. So that's not so guided. That's just like, here's your Bible and then here's your explanations as you go. And you there's an app for it too. So I downloaded the app and then there's free um, content and then there's paid content so you can get even more if you pay for that extra content so that's the Ignatius study Bible and I'll link the app down below and also there is father George Leo Haydock and his app or I don't know if it's his app I don't know much about him but he is the Catholic priest that originally compiled this Catholic Bible commentary and it's on the Dewey Reims Bible and it's said to be the in traditional interpretation of biblical passages. So for those of you who are more traditional, I would probably go check that one out. And their app is called, what is it called? Catholic Bible Commentary. So again, that will be linked below. And number five is the Navari Bible series. And let's see, this was written with extensive explanations and applications for real life, commentaries from church documents, writings, fathers, and other prominent works. So the Navari Bible, again, link down below. So I hope that one of these is helpful to you. I am in my early stages of actually looking into all these. The only one I've really done is the um, one through my parish. So if you have experience with any of these Bible studies or Bibles, please let me know in the comments below. Also tell me which studies you're using, have used, which ones you liked, which ones you didn't like, because it's really good for us to be talking about this as Catholics. So have a beautiful day. Go check out the ladies below and we will see you later. Goodbye.